mentioned. Efforts are on. You know, it is not, investigation is the most difficult thing to do everywhere in the world. I assure you that it may be slow, but it is sure we'll get there. Then somebody asked something about Kano and Showare. They are not the same. Up till now, if I see Showare, I don't know him. If I see Nam Kano, I don't know him. But I, I call for the files of the two people. They are not the same. When I felt, well, this one should go, I had no hesitation. It didn't give me any difficulty, but I have a difficulty in respect of the other one. And he's been held under the rules and laws of the nation. And I know that it's now in court. Let's wait for the decision of the court. Then, in respect of um, the arrest, you say, of journalists, I don't like the coloration. We are the same. We are together. Is we don't distinguish whether somebody is journalist or not journalist. What we look at is the offense or the allegation. And it doesn't mean that you have been uh, convicted uh, or found guilty or culpable of the allegation made against you. All that is required is we have so so thing against you, just profile explanation. And you, you go. And let me assure you that no one will be held outside the laws of the country. In respect of the various cases at the police station, I can't remember the number of cases that I have instructed should be terminated. And it got to such an extent that somebody came to me and said, oh, they are taking note of the number of people you have released. So you have to be careful. I said, in case you finish uh, exhausting the notebook where you are putting this, I will supply you with more. So it's not about that. It is about, you look at the facts. If they don't justify, I will let the person go. You don't rationalize justice. You distance it. And the difference between the two is obvious. When you rationalize, you now say, maybe somebody will say this, somebody will, know, will say that. That is not the issue. You look at, if other people are deserve, deserving of being released, you release them. If you commit another offense, that's an entirely different uh, matter. But I want to say, you know, the other time I said, that, that of um, um, Ndume is, is strictly an affair between the judiciary and those who go there. But note that the purpose of punishment is usually to correct and not to destroy. Once you learn your lesson, it is up to the authorities to say, well, okay, you have done this, um, you can go. In respect generally about the administration of justice, the president has done well. I'm sorry, it's a pity that I'm on this side of the divide, but my reaction wouldn't have been any different if I were to be on the other side. One, increment in the uh, retirement age of high court judges from 65 to 70. They said the older uh, or the wine or something, something, the better the taste. That is one. Number two, for the first time in the history of this country, we have the full complements of justices of Supreme Court, 21. If you make recommendations and the president doesn't approve, the man, I mean, the matter stops there, stops on his table. And the third in the series is the increment in the revenue, uh, I mean, the salaries and emoluments. Everything has been done. What remains is little. From 2006, enduring, they deserve to be commended and not vilified. Generally, if you look at the uh, budget allocation, at least to my own ministry, there have been a very commendable upsurge. I thank the government and I thank... All right. All right. Welcome back. The voice of the person you just heard uh, is the voice of the attorney of the Federation Latif Fagbemi. Latif Fagbemi, that's the voice you just heard now. Uh, the uh, attorney general of the federation who said that uh, he does not know na Mazen Nam the canon in person. Um, first of all, I want to say I wonder how uh, Fagbemi uh, will say that he does not know Nam the canon, and he also said that he does not know uh, Sowery in person. And I wonder um, how could he be such? Uh, should I use the word blind politician and? He has been made to be the attorney of the federation with uh, signing cases or releasing people, allowing them to go uh, without even knowing uh, whose case he is signing for or even have not tried to see the person face to face at the case 
of the tune of that particular magnitude in the nation whereby it is a case that concerns that draws uh, national attention and probably me is there as the the current attorney general of the federation remember that Mazen and the canal uh, was extraordinary rendition from kenya to nigeria by the time uh, at the time of um uh, what is his name uh, the former attorney general of the federation malami uh, it was in the time of malami but looking at what fabwemi uh, latif is saying he said that uh, he has not seen somebody like sowori or mas nandikanos before but looking at their case uh, he was able to decide uh, how difficult one is from the other and he felt that uh, uh, is Sauri's own is just a simple case that he can let go but that of Mas Namdekano is uh, confusing and he has been given to court for the court to decide and my point is um, he said that he is allowing the, the cost, cost of justice to take place uh, that he wants justice to take place and I am asking uh, that case of Sowery was he not also in court because I know that uh, the Sowery's traveling documents were taken and were handed over to the uh, court of competent uh, 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 jurisdiction in Nigeria and um, uh, the, the attorney did not allow that particular case uh, to follow through the court processes uh, like that of Mazen and the Kano. According to him, he said that uh, Mazen and the Kano's case is already in court and the court should decide that justice should be dispensed and not be used. And according to him, he said that he does not have any power to release anybody freely, that he first of all analyzes the person's case file before uh, giving any freedom. And now, looking at um, my, myself, I'm looking at that uh, particular point in order to be able to decide whereby uh, Sowore's case was also in court and that of Mazet and the Kano's case in court too, why should one person be released and the other person still remains there? That is the thing. And I think that um, our leaders should be the, the pioneers of justice. Um, if they want justice, fairness and equity uh, to be the, the ladder the foundation of this particular nation, I think that the leaders themselves have they have a big role to play in order to be able to bring us to that they are subject to that particular uh, realm of atmosphere of justice and truth, but whereby that the leaders are the ones who are thwarting justice. Yes, you say that uh, Mazen and the Kano's other case is somehow uh, why whereby you look at Sowore's own and you decided to grant freedom. Uh, it is also following matters through the political means. Why not also follow Mazen and the Kano's case through political angle and you will see things being sorted out? Now, looking at the issue that concerns Mazen and the Kano, you will find out that this particular case have posed a lot of not only regional challenges, not only state challenges, but a national challenges. And it's also very soon going to double into the international. And the government at their beck and call over there has all it takes to die this matter and make this matter not to es escalate and become worse. Well, because uh, I think um, the ruling party or the ruling government felt that where this particular incidents or sins are taking place does not have anything to do with them uh, because it is not part of uh, very close uh, to their territory where they themselves will be very much affected but meanwhile since is at the far southeast uh, let the people continue to buy and i say that um ometara megini gaji sebru meanwhile now here i go to wind down the curtain and if this is your first time of actually joining us on this wonderful powerful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe but before i draw it down let me bring you one or two matters as it be for enugu state uh, the government of states enugu state have demolished the Ogigen sokamoto park and according to report and information that that market is worth about 10 billion naira that's again sokamoto park 
uh, is worth about 10 billion not million no 10 billion that's b b billion naira and that is what uh, the government demolished in just one day and i'm um, sometimes i begin to wonder what is the interest of this present government before this no demolition have they already provided a relocation a relocation place you know whereby these traders will be able to locate and it will become their new business new business area or that the government just asks the people who are doing business there to you know uh, vacate so that they can take over i think enough time should be given and also the government should also help uh, after they have collected money uh, from their citizens they should also help in order to be able to provide what the city is actually now here i go to one because thank you for listening god bless you